Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome to lesson 14. And in this lesson, you will be showing your child, teaching your child how to uh, recognize and name the numbers zero through 10. And the materials you will need for this lesson, uh, you can see them out on the table here. What you see right here is the zero to 10 number line. And um, actually this is, uh, as an adult, you probably know that this is just one section of a number line. This is from a commercial, uh, uh, this is a, a commercially available number line. Um, and like I said, it's just one section. I think my, my number line goes from, uh, that I have goes from minus 20 to about 100. But we'll just be working with this section. Uh, you will also need some number cards. And as you can see, these are also commercially produced. But you can make your own. And you could also make your own uh, number line also. It's really not that difficult. So if you don't want to buy these, you can always make them on your own. And finally, you will need the printable 0 to 20 number card activities. And of course, that's available. Uh, you can make a copy from the Early Gifted Manual. OK, let me move these out of the way here. And we'll concentrate first on the 0 to 10 number line. Um, as you can see, uh, uh, it, it really is a line. You can see the line going across the top there, points on the line, and the points uh, match up with consecutive numbers. Uh, how do you explain this to your child without using those big words? Well, you could just say, look, that point on the number line is 0. This one is 1, 2, 3, four, five, and so on. And you're going in this direction, left to right, when you are counting forward. So, uh, and of course, you have to say this in a way that your child can understand it. So uh, uh, whatever it takes to do that is what you need to do. Um, and you can tell your child, like I just told you, that uh, he will be working with just one section of the number line, because the number line can go way in that direction and way in that direction. And uh, you can just tell him that he'll find out all about that later on in his, uh, <laughs> in his mathematical studies. So that's a little teaser for him. All right. Um, to understand the number line, we have to define the word digit. And I think for our purposes uh, at this point, um, with your child, you can just tell her that uh, a digit is all of the numbers from 0 to 9. And you might even want to cover 10 here with your hand, because we'll get to that in a minute. So 0 is a digit, 1 is a digit, 2 is a digit, 3 is a digit, 4 is a digit, and of course, on and on and on like that. Um, and as yet another teaser, you can tell her that all of the numbers uh, that we have, even the biggest, largest, hugest numbers can be made just by putting, combining these digits together. And once again, you can't really get into that at this point. That's just kind of another uh, teaser, something for her to look forward to. So all the numbers that we have can be made up 
from these 10 digits. All right, so um, now you need to uh, differentiate a one digit from a two digit number. And you simply have to go all the way down the line here. Zero is a one digit number. One is a one digit number. And then of course, eventually you'll get to 10 here and you'll, and you'll say to your child, well, look at this. I see two digits there. I see a one and a zero. So 10 is a two digit number. All of these, zero through nine are single digit numbers. And they should be able to, uh, excuse me, your child should be able to easily make that distinction. So obviously that's very, and obviously that's a very important distinction to make. So uh, if, if uh, he doesn't get it right away, keep going over it and, and until he does. And, you know, obviously you could go deeper and deeper into this uh, with more different vocabulary, like using the word numerals and stuff, but you really want to keep it simple right now and very understandable for your child. So don't, no long-winded explanations are necessary. All right. Um, a good way to start learning the numbers is just an exercise I call touch the number, say the number. So your child would start here, of course, going this way. Uh, he touches the number, he says the number. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, this is something you'll be doing with him over and over again as he looks at the number he's pointing to and makes a connection between what he's saying and what he's looking at. So this is strictly uh, an exercise for him or her to uh, learn to recognize numbers. And this is kind of where it all starts, just by uh, touching the number and saying the number. And of course, if your child um, really masters that quickly and masters number identification, then you can have her do it backwards. Uh, you can say here, and of course you can uh, show her what you mean by this. You can model the activity. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So that will really reinforce uh, recognizing the numbers because obviously now the challenge has become much greater. So, um, and you can do that if your child has is pretty advanced and, and really uh, recognize the numbers pretty quick. This is a way you can solidify that, uh, that knowledge. All right, that's uh, touch the number, say the number. And now another exercise you can do is called uh, find the number by touching and counting. Let's say you're quizzing your child and say, and, you're, and you say, uh, Mary, could you point to the number six for me? And uh-oh, she's forgotten what that looks like. So you can show her a way to always find a number on the number line. And what you do is, and you can model this for her, you start at zero, because that's nothing, right? So you can put your finger on that and just count and Let's say, uh, as, as I just said, uh, she's looking for the number seven. She forgot what that looked like, so she can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there it is. So there's always, uh, this is a technique where if she forgets a number, she can always find out what it looks like. Um, give you another example. Uh, Johnny, point to the number five, and he's very confused. So tell him there's a way uh, he can check it. He can start here on zero and then count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and there it is. That's what a five looks like. So a very simple exercise, but uh, very effective uh, uh, strategy for your child if uh, he forgets what a number looks like. All right, 
Um, there's a, also a great game you can play with the number line, and it's called Number Squeeze. And to do it, I've made up these uh, red arrows, and you'll see how I use them in a minute. Uh, I'm going to place one. I barely have enough room here in the in the, uh, the 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 camera can barely take it in, so I'm going to put it as close as I can here. You start out with these on the on the end here, and you're literally going to squeeze a number. So here's how the game starts. You can say, um, uh, let's see, Bob or Robert. Let's say Robert. Robert, I'm Thinking of a number, can you guess what number I'm thinking of? And for our purposes here, I'm going to tell you, the parents, so, so you understand how to play this game. The number I'm thinking of is five. So you could tell your child, okay, take a guess. What number do you think I'm thinking of? And you can have her uh, point and say the number. That's really the best way to do it. Uh, she will. She might ask, is it two? And then you will take this little arrow uh, slash slider and you will tell her, no, it is not two. That number is too small. So by moving the slider, you will, in effect, and you can explain this to her, you're eliminating two and all the smaller numbers in this direction, one, and of course zero, so now it has to be one of these numbers that are still left between the two arrows on, on the number line here. So she then might guess, um, is the number eight? And you will say, no, that number is too big. So you slide, put your slider right over eight and explain to her, okay, that eliminates, takes away eight, and bigger and larger numbers, 9 and 10. So now it has to be one of these numbers here. And she might guess, hmm, is it 6? And you will say, no, that number is too large. So now we're squeezing the number, as you can see. Uh, can't be any of these, can't be any of these. And then she might guess, uh, is the number three, and you will say, no, that number is too small. So now we've squeezed it down to two numbers, and she's just going to have to take a wild guess. And she might say, uh, is it five? And you'll go, yes, the number I was thinking of was five. And of course, uh, you know, she might guess it on the first try before you ever touch one of the sliders, and that's okay. Or it might take two turns, or as you can see here, it took several. But that's how you play Number Squeeze. And Number Squeeze is just a great uh, game for not just uh, recognize, recognizing the numbers, but also the concept of larger numbers and smaller numbers. Um, very, very effective uh, way to teach your child uh, you know, that concept, as well as the concept of just recognizing and naming the numbers. So that's uh, Number Squeeze, a great, great game. You can make these, as you can see, uh, I made them out of just some construction paper. Um, so those are easy enough to make. And uh, I think the, finally, the last thing I want to say here in uh, part one of lesson 14 uh, is simply, if it's possible, Post this number line somewhere, like on a wall. And of course, make sure you do it at your child's eye level so they can see it, not way up on the wall where it has no meaning for them whatsoever. And uh, it's great if you could do that. And of course, it's always hard to find wall space, but hopefully you can do that. Uh, and particularly, this part of the number line isn't that long. That way, uh, during, during his day, he can always go back and look at it, and uh, he may be asking you questions about it, and it becomes a, a, an interactive activity you can do throughout the day. Okay, that's uh, part one of lesson 14, recognizing the numbers 0 to 10, and I will see you in part two.